think you're one of the great stories of this of the coming to the Act Invitational because it created a lot of buzz for everyone to, to for a goal to shoot for, and then to have someone who wasn't running Act regularly had one of those final chances to get in, all the pressure on the line, but you excelled and made it work. It was, it was the pressure cooker, I'm not going to lie, I, uh, I wanted a chance to go to 250 and the money just wasn't there, so that immediately took out one chance for me to get into the show, and with Cast, it was my last hope, you know, that was the, that was the only chance I was going to have to make this race, and we'd had a hard couple weeks before that, we'd had a lot of, a lot of mishaps at the racetrack, and just a lot of, a lot of skirmishes going on, and we decided we were going to go for it there and we brought the car to Dale Shaw and he got the thing set up and it was just, it was perfect. We went out there, we overcame a flat tire and I was just overwhelmed, overwhelmed when I made it to victory lane. It was, it was probably the greatest feeling I've ever felt behind the wheel of a race car, just seeing those checkered flags drop knowing I was coming to Loud. It was, uh, it was really, really, truly special. And Sally, she, she supplied the car here for me. And, Wiscasset Raceway, they're they're buying all my tires for the event, and just everyone's just coming together. And the crews have kind of combined between Sally's crew and my crew, and everything's just seems to be going really great. And getting getting the feel for the track, and slow process, just taking my time, making sure I hit my marks, and then picking up picking up lap times every time I go out. And that's all I can ask for, just to keep, keep knocking a couple tenths off every time I go out. It seems to be working so far, so we'll see. Was Cassid your weekly race track that you run? Yeah, yeah, we race weekly at Was Cassid. I've raced weekly at, at Lee in New Hampshire, Austin Plains, and messed around a little bit at White Mountain. Was Cassid's a lot of fun. I haven't been racing full time down there. We missed out on a couple point races, but we're we're leading the points. We won the first three out of four there this season, and then uh, the car kind of went away on me, and we had some mechanical problems. And, we just kind of got it back into the swing of things just in time for that 2150, and it, it's just paid off. It's been, it's been an amazing couple of weeks just knowing that I was going to get a chance to come here. And the first time hey, I sailed into the corner up. down there, it was just, oh man, I got goosebumps. It was, it was scary, and it was exhilarating, and it was, it was everything I hoped it was going to be. It was just, it was just that ultimate high that, that you always chase in a race car. Cass is a pretty fast racetrack in and of itself, but what's it like to come to 100,000 seat facility and, and you know the big, the big place for all of New England? To be completely honest, uh, driving through that tunnel today, it was my first time ever being in here in Loudoun. I mean, I've watched Loudoun on TV a thousand times, but never actually been here in person. And, uh, to pull into here, we were one of the first teams here. And, uh, to just look around and see those all those bleacher seats and just everything, it was just... It was just kind of like a dream come true, and then we hit the track, and we've been overcoming some mechanical problems. We had three quarters of an inch of rear steer, and we had a trailing arm problem. And thing, uh, luckily, it held on and didn't cause us some real catastrophic damage. But we fixed that, went out. I had a real bad push, and still turned some really, really decent laps. And we're getting faster. We get the push, and we'll be right there with the top. Sure, Dale Sean's been helping out a ton, and man, I. Trust that guy just all the time. He's just he's the best there is in the business. Dale knows his way around this place pretty well, and you said you've never even been here before, so that's kind of going to be a bit of a shock to head down to turn one. Not sure how this car is going to handle. And I had uh, one driver say, you know, the all factors there when I first get here, but after a while it's just another racetrack, albeit a little bit bigger. Um, is that kind of how you're taking it here, or? Yeah, I mean, I mean, I don't think. By the end of the day, this isn't going to be thrilling by any means. I mean, every time you sail into that corner, it, it gets your attention. Uh, you're just hoping that it does what it's supposed to do, and it doesn't. You don't have a cut tire or whatever. But you feel the speed when you go into that corner and you let off and you throw it into the turn. You just feel the g-forces. It's done like anything I've ever felt. I've never never been 165 in a, in a car before. I have on a motorcycle, and uh, man, it's just an unreal feeling being that close to the wall, going down those straight stretches. But down the streets, you almost it feels like you could just drive with one hand and almost fall asleep. But you want to wake up by the time you get to those corners; they come quick. <laughs> what, what's your expectations going into the uh, the practice where you have about 12 cars out there and get to run? Kind of give you a little taste of what the 50 lap is going to be. I mean, I'm really excited. Uh, I've got to got to do a little bit of drafting, not too much because I mean it's taken us a while to get up to speed with the mechanical problems that we ran into. But 
I mean, I'm thrilled. I just want to get out there and see what this is going to be all about. I've been nothing but excited for this whole deal, and I always set my expectations really high. And when we come back here in September, I, I really hope that we're going to be one of the teams to beat. And I mean, I've always, I've always shot for the ultimate goal, and it's got me here. So why not, why not say that we have just as good a chance of winning this thing as anybody does? I know there's guys with a lot of experience, but I'll pick it up quick. I'll, hopefully, I can get the job done. And with Dale behind me and a good crew, I feel like we can get the job done. Excellent.